Greetings, Earthlings. Here's another mic review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the AKG P120. If you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back around 90 bucks on Amazon, as per usual, link in the description. And for this video, I've connected the mic to the Scarlett Solo with 48 volts phantom power turned on, and the gain set at around 55%. I will do no post-processing to the audio, but I may boost it in post, so make sure to check the doobly-doo for more information. Now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the microphone. You get a microphone mount, which comes with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. And of course, you get some documentation. As far as the build quality, this thing feels really great. It has an all-metal chassis, a nice metal grill, and a good amount of weight to it. On the front of the microphone, you'll find two switches. First off is a low-cut filter, which starts to filter out audio at around 300 hertz, decreasing at around 6 decibels per octave. And secondly, you'll find a negative 20 decibel pad, which will decrease the signal by 20 decibels in case you're recording any loud sound sources. As far as specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, an impedance of 200 ohms, a max SPL of 130 decibels or 150 decibels if you're using the 20 decibel pad, and a phantom power requirement of plus 48 volts, plus or minus 4 volts. Now I'm spinning around the microphone to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm banging on a mechanical keyboard with MX Cherry Blues directly behind the microphone to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. One foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and four feet away from the microphone. And this is what the microphone sounds like with the low cut filter enabled, which will remove quite a bit of the lower frequencies. And now I've initiated the negative 20 decibel pad, which is not typically used on voice. It is typically reserved for very loud sound sources. And here's a quick example of how the AT2020 sounds with the exact same settings, because I'm guessing you're deciding between the AT2020 and AKG P120. <laughs> I'm pleading with you, can you please stop talking? Because you sound dumb to everyone. So overall, I just think this microphone sounds pretty dang awesome for the price. I thought it sounded really nice on the electric, the acoustic, and on the voice. But on the downside, it does pick up quite a bit of background noise. So if you're concerned with that, I would not recommend this microphone. And on that note, I would absolutely recommend this microphone to any musicians who want to record YouTube covers or do a demo. And I'd also recommend it for voiceover artists because I personally really like the tone of it, but only if you have a treated room because if you're recording voiceover, you don't want all the reverb. All right, guys. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything in the description down below. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.